Spicy, but it's very flavorful. This is so good. I wonder, can you try this? Well, let me try it. It looks like it might be really spicy, but oh, that's spicy. How do you know? Because I could tell. Yep. Um, it is. The greens are down there. Okay, so this here, what is this? Cabbage. Oh, cabbage. But it's not that spicy. Bread is very, very spongy. It's pretty good. Okay, so you said this cabbage is spicy too. No, this is a um, potato. That that's spicy. I thought that was the same thing because it's got the. It looks like the same exact thing. That is not spicy. Well, this. I don't know what that is. Well, I mean, but that looks like this because this looks that like look that like over there. It does look like that, but that is not spicy, but this is. Okay, yeah. that's spicy, but not that? Don't eat it. Don't eat it? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I guess I'll just eat this. I don't know what this is, but it tastes good. <clears throat> I like this one, too. Kick, but not as not as much. The green. Yeah. This one is the one that's um it's got a good flavor but it's not very spicy. Well, actually, there was like a little aftertaste of spice. Now, how, what about this one? Oh, it looks very spicy. So it looks like the um, the food is made to share because it's a giant plate, and uh, well, that just fit into something that's very spicy. Ooh, okay. What do you think that's made of? Because it kind of looks like um, like it could be chili, but I know this is a vegetarian plate. I bet that's chickpeas, isn't it? Mm -mm. It's, it's got a good kick to it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. You discovered that there was a pattern on this? Um, yeah, on the bread there's, there seems to be a pattern. But, uh, you can't see it on the back. You gotta turn it back. Oh. <laughs> see a little bit. Ah. It looks almost like a, like a shell, like a seashell. And then this whole thing is uh, laying on that little bread thing that we're using. There you go. Mm. So I guess after you use the, um, the extra bread that they give you, then you can eat the bread that's 
that's mm -hmm. the food is sitting on. Yeah, you don't run out of um, this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is it called? I had to look it up. It's called injera, and it's a really spongy fermented flatbread, and um, its use is so you can use it instead of utensils, so you use a piece of bread to grab some food, and then you put it in like that, and you keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the close-up of how spongy this bread is. Oh, in Jira. Yeah. Let me look at it. Okay, so we got the vegetarian flat and I'm actually getting full now. So it's just vegetables, and I'm thinking that it's the bread that's probably making making us full, which is really great. I didn't think that you know I thought vegetables we wouldn't really get full, but but we're getting full. I said everything has detail, even these plates with the, the faces on it. It's really neat. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. This is what's left after we've eaten and now we're all full. And um, it's good stuff. It's just, um, now we could save it for later, or maybe. <laughs> it is, I mean, it doesn't look like it's a lot, but it is. I think the, um, what was it called? Injera? Yeah. Yeah, I think the injera is what makes me full, or what what makes people full. First time we tried um, Ethiopian food was when your brother mm -hmm. um, was when your when my brother-in-law took us and his family took us to an Ethiopian restaurant. And so this time we found one in Nashville. So if you've never tried Ethiopian um, food, then I would recommend this place. Yes. It's, um, yeah, it's awesome. It was very authentic. Uh, the atmosphere was wonderful. It's uh, one of those places where you just, we were surprised. It was really good.